All right, let's see. Let's go back to, to another round. Let's go back to Jennifer. Um, that reminds me of something I was going to ask you before. Yep. You know, have you ever heard someone say, don't be upset if you don't have any shoes because someone else doesn't have any feet? You ever hear that one? Yeah, it's a good altruistic guilt. Yeah, people, when I think about that, someone will say, well, don't feel bad because someone else is worse. But if I know that someone else is worse, then I just feel even worse. I mean, we're, how does, you're supposed to be glad because someone's worse? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And the whole purpose of it is guilt tripping. It's, it's purely to make you feel guilty for the fact that whatever you have, you have. And for the, your, to feel guilty that you felt disappointed or that you felt bad that you didn't get it. So it's all about guilt. Jewish mothers, Catholic mothers are experts at doing stuff like that. You know, um, you, know you should be glad I put veg these horribly tasting vegetables on your plate because the kids in Africa, uh, you know, you, I, in my day, you could date people based on the country that their mother used to guilt them to eat their vegetables, right? So yeah. it's chi China for us. What's that? China. I said it was kids in China for, for us. I, it was I kids remember. in China. Then it was kids in, in the 70s. It was kids in Bangladesh in the 60s. My, when I was going, when I was little, it was kids in Biafra, which is a region in Africa. So you can literally date people based on what their mother used to guilt them into eating, you know, eating their food. And it's all about guilt. Uh, and, and you have to resist that. Uh, you have to resist that. You are not, your values are not measured relative to other people's values. Your value it, it's even worse in a way that you, uh, you have to feel guilty for, uh, for feeling bad. Yes, you're feeling guilty for disappointment. It's, but, it's, if you, but if you don't have that guilt response, response then you're just being encouraged to overeat for some reason because somebody else isn't eating. And that's kind of how it came across to me. And I'm like, so me eating more makes them what? It's not like I... Doesn't make any difference I to that. trying to piece together how me eating more helped them. I it doesn't, but it's, it's, it's all about guilt. It's not about anything practical. And mm -hmm. this is, of course, what some of us kids told our mothers, right? Send it to them. Eating this doesn't help them. You can't ship this food to them. They won't, you know, it doesn't make any difference. But it doesn't matter because the purpose of this was not to elicit an actual action. The purpose was to elicit guilt and for no other reason than guilt. Because Jewish mothers, Catholic mothers and, and priests and, and intellectuals know that guilt is a very powerful tool by which to control you. It's, it's a mechanism of control nothing else. Uh, it's not supposed to elicit an action. On, on the topic of guilt, is, is that, I, I don't know that I've ever truly felt guilty about much of anything. So I don't know, is that something that people are born with or, they're, it's, or they're, it's trained into them or they're susceptible one way or another? It's just based on their psychology that, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is something you haven't read about, but well, some people think it's you heavily out of guilt and some people don't just, it's sort of, it's just not part of how they're built. It's training you, and there's another aspect of it, which is that um, there's such a thing as own guilt, hmm. where you do something wrong, and you recognize you've done something wrong, and you want to make amends about doing something wrong, and then you feel that emotion that you feel, I've done something wrong, shit, you know, that's, that emotion is own guilt, hmm. right? And you should feel that. You should feel, I did something wrong, you should feel bad, and, and healthy people do. Uh, the, the kind of guilt that mothers inflict on us is unknown guilt. It's not for anything we did. And that's hard to instill in some of us. I don't think she was very successful with me. But I think my mother was quite successful with maybe my siblings, right? So it, it depends on your own psychology and your own ability to resist the implication that you're guilty for something when you're really not. Hmm. Uh, John, did you have a question since we're on you? Uh, no, the, yeah, you can go on. Okay, Zachary? Yeah, I mean, just on this whole topic of, um, you know, altruism and how, how difficult it is to for people to think any other way. I, I, I noticed, I don't know if you guys saw that uh, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, I think he gave, he's giving $25 million to coronavirus research. Um, I guess, and you know, and and the feet and the he's crit he's criticized for this because it's a you know 0 0.02 percent of his his wealth, but but even even beyond that, people are defending him it, with altruism too. They're saying, well, that's still a lot of money. 
you know, without really saying what it'll be used for, is it actually going to create value in this situation? Is it actually going to be useful? You know, and, and is it value to him, right? Is it value to him? And, and, well, and, and I, and my guess is it's not, my guess is he's motivated by altruistic intentions to some degree. I think the emotion might be empathy, but I think the response is altruistic. I'm just going to get money. I, think partially, I do think partially some of these billionaires think, no, I can use my, you know, this is a real problem. I'm suffering. Well, yeah. I, I, you know, Bill Gates invested, I can't remember how much money, a few tens of millions of dollars to do research into pandemics like three years ago. They were working on vaccines and stuff like that. And he was ahead of the curve. I mean, Bill Gates was way ahead of this curve. He, if you, if you want to see a, a really brilliant TED Talk about the coming pandemic, there's a Bill Gates TED Talk from three years ago about what's going to happen and how we should prepare and what we should do. And it's brilliant. I mean, this is the guy who should be running stuff, right? <laughs> um, but uh, now he, he is unfortunately calling for lockdowns and shutting everything down because because the guys in charge are so incompetent, that's the only solution anybody can come up with. But, but so it's a combination for them. I think it's a combination of, I'd say this, the problem is that in the world we live in, we can't tell what motivates them. Right? So what should motivate them? What we would think would, is values and, and, and actually contributing to solving a problem that affects them and affects the people they love and affects their customers and affects you know, and it's a good thing to do. But because altruism is so dominant in the culture and because they are required to virtue signal, to show their altruism, we don't know if it's real altruism, whether it's just them pretending to be altruistic because that's what people expect of them, whether it's true values that they're seeking or whether it's a little bit of everything, which is what I suspect it is. It's a combination of all those things. It's some doing what other people think is right second-handed kind of approach. It's some true altruism and some real values. And the problem with him and Bill Gates and all these guys is since they can't separate this out in their own minds, then suddenly we can't from the outside. There's just no way to tell. But it's really horrific the way these guys are being treated. It's, it's just, it's pathetic. And of course, yeah. Warren Buffett will be accused of taking advantage of of the of the market tumble to make money because he bought stock cheap. Right? Oh yeah, I'm seeing that all over the place. Yep. But I, you know, I, you it. know, I think a lot of people. <laughs> getting back to just empathy, I think a lot of people honestly feel empathy and, and want to help, right? And and I do too. But yeah. but but then they'll, they'll they'll just give money. You know, I'll just give fifty bucks and they share or more than that, right? And they share it with their friends and and that's helping to them, yeah. right? And for me, that's just not enough. I. You know, if, if I was, if I, you know, they're going to give this test that you supposedly there's going to be a test that's come out that, that will determine if you have the antibody for this, for this virus. And, and, and I, and then I read that if for those that do, they can give plasma or blood and it would be yep. very, very valuable. And if, if that, if, you know, my way of helping would be, if that were me, I would go give plasma and I'd feel really good about that, knowing absolutely that that's going to add value, you know, that's going to really actually help versus just sacrificing for the sake of helping, you know? I agree completely. And I would do the same thing. And I think it's completely rational because if, if this really cures it in the sense if they take your plasma and put it into somebody infected and that person now becomes somebody who can donate plasma, you could get rid of this by doing it that and creating herd immunity very quickly through this methodology. The, the challenge is getting a test approved by the FDA and distributed and actually in practice. But that, I mean, it's a game changer if they can actually, if they can actually do it properly. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today.
Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...